Normally I would tell you, it's not a one weekend project, but we're gonna tell you how far we really think you can get in a weekend on your project. Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. This boat is the kickoff to our busy season. It's fall, it's the first week of September, and this is gonna get it kicked off. If you haven't seen videos from us in a while, it's because we've been working on other projects and stuff, like the big jet boat over there. But <clears throat> we're right back to pontoon boats, and this is a great one to get started with. This is a 2006 Sylvan. It's a 20 foot, eight and a half wide. Uh, this is a nice, luxurious pontoon boat. It has the heavy carpet, and that's why it's here. It's wet. It hasn't, well, it misted yesterday, but it's still wet, still really wet. So inside, if you take a peek in, it's just that big heavyweight carpet, not in bad shape, but for ease of use, convenience, maintenance, keeping it clean, this boat is getting the teak pattern woven vinyl from pontoonstuff.com. Here's the big question. I think people go to attack a pontoon boat project like this and they think I can tear everything off, put that new deck and vinyl on and I can get it done in one weekend. Well, it's Friday. What time is it? It's one o'clock. One o'clock. I'm going to get started on this right now. It just got here. So we're going to see how much progress we can make working Friday, Saturday, Sunday this weekend because we've got more boats coming in next week. And we're gonna tell you how far we really think you can get in a weekend on your project. Normally I would tell you, it's not a one weekend project and we do a lot of this stuff. We have one big thing, not always looking forward to, is underneath, this boat is fully under skinned. So that provides a smoother, drier ride, keeps the bottom of the boat from getting wet, the bottom of the plywood protects everything, but it's hot, metal, falling down on my arms. I might even put a long sleeve shirt on. That would be the smart thing to do because I got to drill out about a hundred rivets in there. I'm going to get right to work on this and you're going to watch us tear this thing down and bring it back to modern time life with new vinyl flooring. Take note, there will be two people working on this boat. Marty is in the wilderness. We fired Marty. We fired him. We Every did. September we fire, fire Marty. Him. It's just tradition because he goes elk hunting for a couple weeks. So he is out, it's just Corey and I, and we're gonna still get this thing done. Not rushing, but we're gonna put in some long days over the next few days and see how far we can get. Corey's starting with the underskin. Taking one for the team, drilling it all out. I'm gonna jump in and get everything unhooked from the console. Three hours and 52 seconds into this restoration. We've got it torn down to the carpet and the boards. We're gonna come in tomorrow and get this stripped all the way down, get it decked and hopefully vinyled. And then we'll be done with it for day two. So came in a little later than we wanted to today and had to do a couple things to get ready. But then we jumped in and went to town on it. It had a crazy console. That took me way longer than normal to deal with. A lot of electrical has a sub and amplifier, a little more complex than the typical teardown. These newer boats, 2006, that's 15 to 20 years old, they build them like they're never meant to come apart. So you gotta get a little creative. You gotta look at how they put it together in order to get it back apart. Day one. Day one um, done. So that would be what, Friday after work with two people. So if you're alone and you know what you're doing with the console, that take you six hours. Yeah, if you did it all by yourself. But you saw in the time lapse, we have a high-low on hand. So if you don't have a high-low, you're going to need two sets of hands or maybe three 
to get everything off. Yeah, because all we, the furniture, all the backs are... Yeah, this nice furniture set. wasn't like take a bench off and move it. This was, if you look over here, these That's seats one piece. are all one piece. So if you don't have three people, you're going to have a heck of a time. We were able to put it on a piece of plywood and use the forklift to work that out. Keep that in mind. We're spoiled. We have some tools. We do this all the time, but... I would say we're blessed. We're blessed. We've got tools that help make the job go by a little faster. Not saying that you can't get stuff off just as quick with a few sets of hands. But like Corey said, if you're working Friday after work, you're just gonna put in a few hours before you go to bed, that might be where you get to. Let's see where we can get it tomorrow, decked and vinyl, and then Sunday, can we get it all put back together? I'm up for the challenge. We're back Saturday morning, it's 9.30. So our goal today, because obviously college football's on, we're in early September, Tennessee plays at five, we got, what was that? We gotta be back home to watch that game. So the plan is, get this torn off, new deck, new vinyl, and then get the deck trim back on so that tomorrow we can come in and get all the railings reinstalled, the furniture, and then I'll go through, it'll take me an hour or two to get the console all wired up and ready to rock and roll. Let's get at it. On this boat, we're dealing with hat channel that just has screws run through. I mean, those aren't even self tappers. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go on every cross member. I'm gonna cut the carpet. We're gonna cut strips, peel it back. So if I cut it into a two inch wide strip, you know, just about as wide as this hat channel piece, then it's a lot easier to peel back, a lot less carpet, a lot less glue, and I can apply more force to it. We'll drop all the wires down through. Those will just come right back up through the same place they were. And we'll rewire all of that. Our navigation lights, we've cut or unhooked those and we'll splice them back in when we get to that part. But right now it's all about continuing tear down. This is also common practice here when I'm working on a boat that I'm gonna restore and put back together exactly how it was before. I do little drawings. So I know that the front rail it's three and three eighths inch from the edge of the deck trim on the inside. I do my captain's chair and console spacing. And then I have my corner table. That is how I make sure everything goes back in the same place. Everything fits up and operates how it did before. That went pretty much according to plan. And what it does is it exposes these stainless, they're not always stainless, but on this new of a boat, stainless Phillips head screws. We've got those exposed all the way down now. And there are a few in front, this front, uh, this entire front cross member has the bigger elevator bolts or deck bolts. So we'll pull those off with a socket first, and then I'll go through and zip everything. So to pay attention to, We've got a seam, this is really common. We've got a seam here for that front about 18 inches or so, maybe two feet. And then we go full boards for one, two, three, four. And then we've got one more seam in the back. What we'll do is measure or template those boards. The front one will definitely template because the corner caps are wide radius. This one we can just measure and rip a sheet down and then you see corners are just nicked off for that cap to fit on. I'm gonna get these boards unscrewed and let's get them off the boat. Corey's in here, she's gonna just get the last of the just the dirt and dust, but also that tar tape off. We'll get a scraper, get that cleaned off. We have videos on removing that with a uh, propane torch from underneath. Don't light this tar on fire, but you can heat it from underneath if it's stubborn and then scrape it right off. I always recommend, this boat's listed as eight and a half wide, but put a tape measure on the board. We've had more than one or two boats. It's been enough that we measure every single one that are actually a hundred inches 
or 101 even, instead of 102 inches, which is exactly eight and a half. So I'm gonna measure these. We're gonna measure this. We'll rip a board down to meet this same width. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll template, we'll lay this on top of a new sheet, trace it out with these wide radius corners. And that way, when we put the new sheet on, we'll have the right corner radius for the corner caps. And here, 102 it is. We don't have to cut anything down because our boards over here are 102 as well. It's a pain in the neck to rip every single board down one inch, but it's got to be done if you're going to make the deck trim and corner caps fit back on. In this case, we don't have to cut anything down. River's obviously helping a ton right now. We've got our front board cut to those corners and our back board ripped down. We'll angle off the back corners when we get there. And now we're gonna tar tape all the seams and then get these boards on. So from here, you'll see we're gonna move fairly quick. We'll get the back board squared up and then we just run every board, keeping them as square as possible to the frame, measuring each side once in a while your boards might have to shuffle over a 16th to an eighth of an inch to stay with the framing. And we're gonna trust that the framework, the brackets all along the pontoons are nice and square. That's what we're going off of. So that when we get to the front, our boards are nice and lined up square with the pontoons and we can lay the vinyl. But are they ever square? No, <laughs> they are so rarely perfectly square. And a lot of it, I mean, this boat I think is gonna be in better shape because we have two anchor points per bracket, outside and inside. A lot of boats, they'll just have, a, if it's a C channel or even a Z channel or S channel, if you wanna call it that, they'll only have a bolt here and there. So things tend to rotate, shift and move over time. It's just the way it goes. Nothing you can do. These holes are usually machined out bigger than the bolts or they wallow out and things vibrate. We've taken boats apart where these nuts and bolts are missing, literally missing a bolt on a 10 or 20 year old boat. This should be in better shape because we have more anchor points. That's why I love hat channel. That would be my preferred on any project would be hat channel, but it's not easy to get. This one is just somebody bent this. A local machine shop or fab shop could do this for you. Eighth inch aluminum bent into hat. See that? It is right at two o'clock, 2.04. So we had four and a half hours in today of working hard, getting stuff done. The vinyl is glued down. The deck trim is back on. Corner caps are in place. So tomorrow, when we come in to start piecing this baby back together, we're gonna have to get all the furniture up first. The reason you don't see any furniture up now, and I highly recommend this, don't be in a hurry let this vinyl cure give it a day usually we let it go overnight it's not going to hurt if it goes 24 hours uh, maybe you do this and you leave it at this point until next weekend when you can spend two or three more days in just putting the furniture and railings and electrical back together in this case what we're going to do it's going to sit it's perfect it's not humid it's like 75 80 degrees this is gonna cure up and stick really, really well. Tomorrow we'll come in, we'll get the furniture up on it. And then what we'll do, because this style deck trim, my railings already have places where they were bolted through. So what we're gonna do is just go right back where these holes are. We're gonna pre-drill them with a quarter inch bit and we can just place the railings right back on and they'll drop right back in those holes. Doors will line up. It's amazing when that happens. It's a nice thing when you get deck trim like this, they're not always that easy. I think we're at a total of about eight hours at this point put into this project between two of us. Keep that in mind. Day three. What time? It is 9.44. 9.44 Sunday morning. We're getting right at this. We're going to try to get it done today. Can we make it? Not try. We will get this done today. We will get this done. 
So on this boat, we left off. Vinyl's stuck down. It's looking beautiful. Deck trim is on. What you're gonna see me do now is I'm gonna go along. I'm gonna pre-drill all the spots in this deck trim. This wide deck trim here, you can see, Corey cleaned it up, but you can still see where your spacers used to be. We're gonna do the same holes so that the railings just drop right back in. On a hole like this, right here, you can see that there's no spacer. That's for the bimini. That was the wires for the bimini top. A lot of times that's gonna be like a one inch hole and you just need to drill a quarter inch so you can run the wires down through. But when it's set up like this, I just need to make sure I push everything in nice and snug inward, drill those holes, and then it makes life a lot easier than having to guess and check where those railings go perfectly. I like it when it's like this, it makes our life a little bit easier. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this starboard side of railing up and in the holes. Then we gotta get all the furniture up on the boat. We're gonna do that from the port side. Then we can get the railings up. The furniture we're not gonna install. We're just gonna get it resting up on the boat so we can slide it into position. Make sure you've got no screws hanging out of your seats from the bottom. Whenever you remove seats, pull those screws all the way out so they're laying in the seat base not still stuck down because that dragon on this vinyl will rip it. It's about the only thing I think that can damage this vinyl from what I've seen. Fish hooks, dog paws and claws and everything. It's been fine. We're, we're going to start work now. Too much talky, not enough worky. So that was the bulk of getting this boat coming back together. All of the railings are bolted down. I got to get the back bolted down. But in a lot of cases with those back sun decks, similar to this one, they're not all through bolts and nuts. A lot of times they are giant stainless, uh, I guess you'd call them just stainless pan head screws, but we'll be running a few of those in all those places where you can't get to a nut on the bottom. Plenty of structure holding it in with those they're usually like two two and a half inch big number 12 or 14 screws and then we'll jump on the inside get the seats in position run the electrical hook the fuel system back up and call it good after the dreaded underskinning has to go back up what time is it it is 4 54 4 we started at 9 40 so that's seven hours today, right around there. So that's 15 hours total. Did we finish? Not quite. I have to go run a couple errands, otherwise this thing would definitely get done. All we have left to do on it is... Underskin. Rivet the underskin. And honestly, with two sets of hands, that will go probably less than an hour with the pneumatic rivet gun. We'll knock it out tomorrow morning first thing, and then send this baby home. This is the woven vinyl. It's the teak from pontoonstuff.com. This you can order as a kit with the plywood, the hardware, the glue, and the vinyl. Use Tom's Tunes at checkout. You'll save 5%. Save you some money. It helps our channel. This boat just got modernized completely. It's got everything that the new boats have. Comfy seating and now the vinyl floor, low to no maintenance gonna make this boat more enjoyable for everybody using it thank you for watching I believe yes you could finish a boat redecking and adding vinyl floor maybe that's all you get to but it's doable in a weekend a hundred percent and I will tell you this this is a 2006 give us a 1996 that's in good shape railings and furniture and it's gonna be a simpler project no tow bar no under skinning it's gonna be a more straightforward project Tackle that one at home. You can do this, follow our videos, subscribe if you haven't, and comment if you liked this type of content where we take on a challenge like this boat.